Madam Chief of Staff, Minister for Youth and Sports, Secretary, National Security Advisor, I'm not sure what is your title, Founder, Leader, Brain, Originator of the May 9th Foundation, and members of the May 9th Foundation and delegation here. First of all, let me welcome you all very warmly to the seat of the presidency of our country, to Jubilee House. And to say that um, I'm happy that we found the, the time today to meet. I remember, I think it was within two minutes of your call to Jacob Becha Bilamte on that fateful day. He called me at the time I was Attorney General to inform me about what had happened and the tragedy that has taken place. It was at the beginning of President Kufo's mandate, May 9th, and he had entered office five months earlier in January of uh, 2001. And I thought, my, what a, a beginning that this huge tragedy should occur and face the country of the time. So it has always been a day that has stood out vividly in my life and in my recollection. Various initiatives that have been taken to try and address the concerns of those who are most deeply affected. Ones that have always had my support. The fund that was set up and the subsequent developments that have taken place. Tragedies of this sort can only be commemorated and, and, and remembered because people decide that they will not allow people to forget it. So those of you who have taken the trouble to perpetuate the memory of those who were caught up in this tragedy and have now grouped yourself into the May 9th Foundation, you deserve the warm applause and commendation of the entire nation of Ghana. You speak of Hillsborough. Hillsborough lives because people have decided that Hillsborough should live. And um, I'm happy that we have Ghanaians of your caliber who have made the same decision about May 9th. The people can never come back, but we can remember them and those of their relatives and descendants who are with us will see the best way we can also to assist. And I believe that that's what you're doing. I'm intrigued by the idea that today that the May 9th Foundation is beyond football. You put it beyond football, that you have embraced a wider social space involving dislocations, floods, dislocations of people in their lives. This is a huge undertaking and you need a lot of courage and uh, capacity to be able to carry it out well. You will have the modest support that this administration will be able to give you. I can promise you that. <laughs> so let me once again commemorate, commiserate with all of you who suffered this awful incident. I'm hoping that since then we haven't seen a repetition of it because the sporting authorities have put in the corrective measures that will prevent tragedy like this occurring again. There was a committee of inquiry that made some important recommendations of what needed to be done to prevent a recurrence of this. And the judge, if my memory serves me right, who chaired the committee is now in the Supreme Court. He said, Apau. Yeah, Mr. Justice Apau, who's now in the Supreme Court, he's the one who did and make recommendations that uh, the sporting authorities have taken on board. So we thank God for that. I uh, want to thank you very much for coming here today to come and see me. The, um, the founder, leader, made a reference to my support, that he was questioning my support for football clubs. I started supporting Asante Kotoko before he was born. <laughs> I saw James Ajay play with my own eyes, and I said, 
Kwabwafu, I saw them. Uh, yes, I saw them play as a young boy. So I'm not quite sure what teams I mean. Maybe referring to Tottenham. Yeah, uh, okay. But I am the firmest and uh, one of the most devoted followers of Asante Kotoko, and I remain unrepentant in my support of the club. That is not to say that I disregard the claims of people who support Hearts of Oak. I'll not do that. Is it? But I thank you so much for coming and that we have been able to share these few minutes together. The uh, Minister for Sports is, is seeing what package that we can work out on our side to continue the assistance. And soon, rather than later, he will be engaging with you on that. So once again, you're welcome. The tragedy will not go away, but we can, with resolution, look forward to the future. And that, I hope, is the attitude with which you have had all this time, looking forward, uh, because the, the loved ones cannot be reclaimed, but at least we can march forward, determined to make their death meaningful for yourselves and for the rest of us. We have to thank those who have taken it upon themselves consistently to support this enterprise, companies working here in Ghana and who have decided to embrace this enterprise. We are, we're grateful for your contribution and your assistance and help in understanding. So once again, thank you so much for coming and uh, the best of luck. Uh, I'm sure, I'm hoping this is not the last time we'll meet whilst I'm in this house. We'll meet again before this. We thank Mr. President for his kind words of assurance to the delegation. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Before we have a photo opportunity with Mr. President, uh, Mr. President, the delegation has a presentation to make to you. And may I invite the reps to come forward. Come forward and do so quickly, please. <laughs> 